So this is Postal. It is an add-on to manage your mail in WoW. Um, comes with a bunch of features. Um, a lot of stuff if you leave by default, you probably never even noticed it there. Um, this is opening up, and of course, if you have mail, you've got checkboxes on the left to select particular things. You can open just certain items, or if you hit the open all button later, I'll show you that. As well as the red X is, of course, deleting that piece of mail. Shift clicking on it too will also open up as normal. Alright, so these are the features, um, and basically, if you go go through them, you'll see that actually what they are. Um, you can set up so that it does auto-complete, it does your alts, like, etc., or you've got to put a black book of people you just don't want to mail to, um, how much when you open up your bags and you're opening a ton of stuff to leave open, um, whether or not you just want to open auction mail, you know, or non-auction mail, there's there's a lot of individual options you can do if you really want to get down to nitty gritty um, Let's say this is your auction all you know You don't want to worry about stuff that you just mail to them You just want to collect all your gold or repost items so you can do that You can also adjust how fast it opens up the mail as well as when it uh, takes any input from it um, And shows it in display that you can tell it where actually to post that to so you can see that all right now we're going to go to um, the next part here on how to open. Now either you can shift click or you can check and hit the open and it'll go ahead and process it for you. Um, or if you want to just open everything, no matter what, you can hit the open all button and it'll go ahead and collect all your mail for you. Now another nice feature is that once you leave your mailbox, if you still have more mail pending, it'll tell you and it'll tell you when it'll be available, 20 seconds, etc. By default, Postal does have uh, last person you mailed there. You can add contacts without actually adding them to your friends. You can show you people you recently mailed to, um, your alts, your friends. It doesn't show real ID, it just shows friends. Um, and guild members. All in all, a lot of different options of who you want to mail to. As you can see also, as, uh, when you put an item in there to be mailed, it does automatically fill the subject. Something I find nice. I'm gonna say one last thing I don't have to type. Um, but other than that, yeah, pretty simple add-on. Um, just going through individual options there, and the options menu actually very pretty, all self-explanatory. Nothing really complicated. All right, and so now auctioneer by Zerko. Um, it's kind of an auctioneer light for those of you who don't want as much. Uh, we're going to start off here with doing a full scan of the auction house, which is accessed via the More tab and hitting Full Scan. Um, most of the time this takes around 10 seconds, so uh, depending on uh, how busy, how much lag you have, it might take a little bit more. In this case, we've scanned nearly 16.7 thousand items, and uh, we're done. We do that a couple times a day, and it'll update and keep track, and it's pretty awesome altogether. Alright, so now I'm going to check for undercuts, it's a button there on the bottom left, and it'll go through and look at all your auctions, compare them to what's currently there, and tell you whether you're currently the lowest or not. Now if you're not, it's going to pop up this screen, and I can just sit here and tap it really quick, it'll cancel all my current auctions that are not currently the lowest in the auction house, and automatically cancel them. Which is freaking awesome, it's not click, cancel, click, cancel, click, cancel, click, cancel, it's tap, 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 and it'll take care of them all at once. Alright, um, let's go ahead and go to the cell tab. Um, this is the layout. It's really nice, pretty simple. Much kind of what you expect, you get a place to drop it off, file price. Um, by default, it does not show the starting price. I've turned that on, and we'll get to that uh, when we get into the actual individual features. So, right now, I've dropped in a piece of cloth. Um, it's scan the age again and it'll uh, tell me what the lowest price is it'll automatically undercut by what the percentage i have set up once again we'll get into those uh, features uh, when we get in the options um i can see whether or not uh, i'm lowest because i'm at 20 stacks or if it's individual pieces that i'm selling etc this place it all there pretty self-explanatory 
if you can't find it, it'll also show it as a history as of what it, it has seen it in previous scans. Um, you can chop up just like you do on the regular side to sell. Makes it pretty easy. You can also batch post with this as well by simply saying how many stacks you actually want it to be. Um, and you can set your time. Just put anything you do anything, it just makes it a little bit easier. Um, while built in default kind of has this, but it doesn't scan like this on the same tab. So, all right, let's jump into the options here really quick so we don't get too far ahead and keep referring to them. Um, they're basic options here. Um, like I said, I do have show starting starting price checked, um, and I also have my options at by default to 12. Um, and normal tool, tool tips I have turned on. Yeah, tongue tied here. All right, so this is where you can actually set your undercuts for 500, 125 gold, one gold, 20 silver, even five silver. Um, you can also have just a basic discount, or you can set the two individual prices. Uh, mine are displayed there. This is all your personal preference. This is mine for my server. Um, but yeah. In regards to selling, um, you can have default behaviors here. Um, if you, for instance, want glyphs to as many as possible in stacks of one and stacks of five, you can create this all yourself. And so default action when you actually drag it over into that sell spot. Pretty nice, pretty in easy to do. Pretty easy to modify also if you want to as well. Um, as you can see, it, it says presets all the way up from one to five and it jumps to 10. In this case, I'm saying when I do glyphs, do them in three at a time in stacks of one each. Um, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. All right, so here's the database. Um, I personally have set it to delete at a year, basically. You can also set the uh, rarity of quality that it keeps in its database. I do everything just because there are those grades that people will put in the auction house and they're actually worth more defender. Their loss, my gain. Um, clear is clear, so that's all it is. Shopping lists are pretty cool. I'll show them more in detail. Um, once we actually get into the the the, uh, the buying part of it, and then of course it's got the about. All right, so I've done my thing. I'm making my auction, and let's jump over to the buy tab. All right, this is the buy tab. Um, as you can see over the left, it has recent searches that I have done. Technically, if I were to click on any of those, it would automatically go to it. You can also bring up shopping lists if you want to as well, um, which you can generate there by just saying uh, new shopping list. Shopping lists are basically predefined searches you've already done, so you can open up that shopping list and just click on each one, see what the prices are. Makes it easier than to type them all out every time. So like that there, I clicked on that. Shows me everything for Cinderbloom, in this case because I had herbs set up, and uh, shows me the prices and drops it out in... Uh, it's stacks of 20, the individuals, lowest price to highest price. All in all, pretty cool. And like that, you can just switch another one. No more typing once you've actually done it for at least the first time. All right, so here's shopping lists. Um, like I said, I was going to come back to this once we actually add to the buy tab. They're right, pretty cool, pretty easy. So I'm going to create a new shopping list right now, and uh, I'm going to call it whatever. All right, as you can see, it's completely blank. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and search for something new here. Uh, let's go Thorium. And we hit search. And we're gonna be specific with ore. It shows me everything to do with Thorium ore. Now all I have to do is hit the add item there on the left and it adds to this shopping list and it'll stay there just like that. Um, pretty nice, pretty simple. If you, you know, it's basically to help you manage what you're gonna be actual buying out, maybe the mats for all your transmutes or, you know, whatever. Um, once again, I can search for iron ore here now because there are more than one types of iron ore. It'll actually show all types of iron ore, which is fell and dark iron, etc. Um, and it breaks it up uh, into each one, which is the lowest price on average, which is pretty cool. You can actually see the variations in it, or if you didn't actually put in the correct name. So if I go to one specifically like dark iron, it then breaks it down into the actual stacks that are available. 
the individuals as well as that. And there's a back, so you can come back to it. Look at the next one. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All right, so that about wraps it up for this uh, edition of add-ons with Growler. Um, all in all, pretty simple add-ons, very powerful though if used together. Um, Auctionator's ability to scan the age, remember prices, show you the true lowest so you don't have to hunt and peck yourself. They definitely uh, combine, especially if you're doing lots of postings. Uh, every day you post all in regards to mass posting with the auctionator um, will definitely you know, work to your advantage. Um, I normally would also do auctioneer with a group like this. Uh, however, auctioneer had some surprises that were not on the PTR. So their next revision uh, currently is not yet available. Uh, once it is uh, available, I will go ahead and uh, do my best to explain its insane amount of features and options, um, which tend to overwhelm those who overwhelm. Sorry, uh, those who've never really had to deal with add-ons in the first place. All right, if there are any more add-ons you want me to walk through, let me know. Make comments. Post uh, comment on the page, etc. Until next time, have fun and enjoy yourselves. Mm -hmm.